Hey everybody, Sean here, and special thanks to Sarah Jane for sharing this. If you haven't seen one of these latest headlines, here it is. DC Talks' Kevin Mack says he's now an ex-vangelical, deconstructing and progressing. And depending on the site, we'll see a few different headlines. This one adds that he now believes in the universal Christ. And this last one is a bit misleading because it says he's renounced his faith, but that's not true. He's just changed his Christian beliefs, but unfortunately, not in a good way. Kevin is one of the singers of the song Jesus Freak from back in the day. This was one of the first quote-unquote Christian rock band songs I heard as a new believer, so it brings back memories of when I was first saved. So, revisiting this song, I found this live version, and I gotta say that it resembled a mosh pit at a Nirvana concert more than something we'd hope to see in a crowd of Christians. And check this out. The other singer and fans all doing the Hail Satan hand sign. What's up with that? I'll leave the link to that video below so that you can see for yourself. But that aside, we'll go through some of the things that are of concern. All of the articles quote the same stuff. One thing he says is that he's now an ex-vangelical, meaning he's left evangelical Christianity. Well, simply put, Evangelism is sharing the message of salvation through Jesus. Even Wikipedia can get that right. This is Christianity 101. Being evangelical means that you believe in salvation by grace through faith in Christ, that we must be born again, and that the Bible is God's true word. So if he is an ex-evangelical, that says a lot. Does he not believe in this anymore? He also stated that he still follows the universal Christ. Well, there is only one Christ. You either believe in the correct Jesus or a different Jesus. He uses words like deconstructing, reconstructing, or progressing, but I don't know if this could be classified as progressing because progressive Christianity has a lot of beliefs that don't line up with the Bible. In a new song he wrote, he even refers to this universal Christ. And the articles seem to imply that he's referring to the Bible when he says he doesn't have to believe every written word. How we understand God's word is one thing, but not believing God's word is another story. But what he really means is unclear. What is clear is that this universal Christ is not the Christ of the Bible. Another name for everything? This is a book written by a fella named Richard Rohr. And as soon as you see something like the Bible for normal people, we should have alarms going off. We don't need a new Christ that changes everything. Jesus, just the way he is, has been perfect from the beginning. We can see on his site that he asks a lot of strange what if questions. What if Christ is a name for the transcendent within of everything in the universe? What if Christ is a name for the immense spaciousness of all true love? What if Christ refers to an infinite horizon that pulls us both from within and pulls us forward too? What if Christ is another name for everything in its fullness? This reminds me of Satan in the Garden of Eden. Did God really say that? What if that's not what God meant? And if you're still on the fence, we need to only look at what this woman says. What if every human being is anointed Messiah Christ? Enough with the what ifs. We know that's not true. The Gospel Coalition did a good breakdown of the errors and redefinitions of terms. God is a subjective term that denotes a way people look at the world. Um, no it's not. God is the eternal creator of everything. He says a lot of junk, but we'll just hit on a couple. He says Jesus' death didn't accomplish redemption. Instead, I am Jesus, you are Jesus, and everyone is Jesus. Jesus warned us about this and that deceivers would come, saying, I am the Christ. This is no different than the little God's theory. And what is the root of all this heresy? Well, surprise, the Catholic faith appears that he was a friar and Catholic priest for 50 years. No surprise that heretic Rob Bell was influenced by him. This is just one more step in developing the ecumenical movement that is happening right now. 
I'll leave a link to the Gospel Coalition so that you can read up on this further if you choose. But at the end of the day, if this is the movement that Kevin Max is now embracing, he's definitely made a poor decision in progressing his faith. If he's now serving this glowing universal Christ that he sings about, then we need to pray God opens his eyes. Whether he is saved or ever was saved, only God truly knows. But when we see all this combined with concerts doing the Hail Satan, there is reason for concern. Anyhow, we'll leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.